Welcome back everybody. This is Pokey Deck. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. We are putting out as much content as we possibly can. In today's video, we are going to be doing another giveaway and we are going to be opening up this Hidden Fates Raichu tin. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This is my first time ever opening up Hidden Fates on camera. So I am super pumped, a little bit nervous, but I am really hoping we just get something out of the shiny vault. Obviously the chase card is that shiny Charizard GX, but really for me, anything out of the shiny vault is a win. Also, news. The winner for the third giveaway, which was the Marnie Box giveaway, is Pedro Chavez. Congrats, Pedro. You entered keywords Fire and Grim Reaper for Incineroar V and Grim Snarl V. You also entered keyword Random, which was one of those three random V cards we pulled from the set, and I randomly chose Duraludon V, so I'm going to be sending these three cards your way. Congrats, Pedro. For today's giveaway, just like in the Marnie video, everybody, I will be giving keywords for certain cards throughout the video. If you want that card, you'll have to put in the keyword for that card, and if you win, you'll get the card associated with that keyword. The three cards we have up for today's giveaway are Aegis Slash V from Vivid Voltage, Zarud V from Vivid Voltage, both pulled on this channel, and Torkoal V from Sword and Shield base set. All right, guys, let's dig into this Hidden Fates tin. So, kind of a cool story behind this Hidden Fates. I think the third print run or fourth print run or whatever this is, I can't remember the exact number. Let's check out what it looks like on the inside. That might give us a clue. All right, yeah, so third print run. You can kind of tell just by the honeycomb design on the inside. This finally hit my Walmart, kind of just by chance. They kind of tucked it away in a random spot by like sporting goods where there were no other Pokemon cards or somebody picked it up and like a kid just placed it on a shelf randomly. And it was only 20 bucks. And I remember just not that long ago, these things were actually selling in private markets for like $45, $50. And I found this guy for 20 bucks at my Walmart at random. So I think there's going to be a lot more of these coming to the United States. I'm at least I hope so. They make this a huge pain to get these cards out of here without breaking them. So let's try to be careful. All right, there we go. There's a code card on the back. So here's that Raichu GX. Yeah, I think they're going to be a lot more available here come 2021. I was still really lucky to get this guy at a Walmart this time of year when everybody's looking for Hidden Fates. As usual, this Raichu GX card is chewed up. These are never in good shape. I think that's why the graded versions of these cards sell for so much, because if you can get one that's in a 9 or a 10, it's all, it's harder than, than most cards just because of the really poor way they package them in Hidden Fates tins. I think even raw, this is still like a 2 to $4 card, somewhere in that range. All right, let's see what four pack arts we got. Let's see if we can get an art set. We got the birds, Mew, Mewtwo A and Charizard. Look at that. We got an art set. Definitely saving Charizard for last. I'll go Mewtwo second to last. Mew second and I'll go the birds first. All right, guys, let's dig into this. I'm so pumped. It's my first time ever opening up Hidden Fates on this channel. As I am opening up the first pack here, guys, just a quick reminder. We are on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. We have gotten off to a quick start here on this channel. And I want to see how close to a thousand we can get by the end of the year. And after we hit a thousand, I will be giving away that Charizard V promo from the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box, graded by CGC, to one of my first 1,000 subscribers, guys. And I can't wait till that comes back to see how we do. So like this video and subscribe to my channel for a chance to win that card. All right, guys, let's go Fairy Energy, just because I like to say it. Oh, and we got it. Look at that. <laughs> All right, Brock's Grit. Mm. Scyther. Also, the artwork in this set is amazing. I think it's just kind of, this is probably the best modern set by most people's opinion. Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee. Come on, let's get something out of the shiny vault. Clefairy, Caterpie. Okay, we got a reverse Mew. That is a nice reverse. Reverse rare Mew. And what is our first rare? It is a golem. All right, let's get into this Mew pack. First, actually, the code word for Torkoal V from Sword and Shield base set for today's giveaway. Comment down below keyword turtle if you guys want this Torkoal V, all right? All right, now let's get into this Mew pack. Come on, Shiny Vault. Hmm. 
Forgot to guess. Water energy. Misty's determination. Scyther. Sabrina's suggestion. Paris. Psyduck. Charmander. All right, let's see if we can get this guy out of the shiny vault. Magikarp. Slowpoke, and I think this is the reverse. Oh, the reverse rare, Snorlax. All right, that's another good reverse. And the rare is a Brock's Training Holographic. I totally forgot that they had holographic trainer cards that weren't full art cards. That is cool. I'm going to sleeve both of these up. All right, guys, two packs left of this tin. Still time to get something good. Also, there are some sick cards in this outside of the Charizard. Like I said, anything in the Shiny Vault. But specifically, there are full art evolutions out of the Shiny Vault that are just amazing. There's that Umbreon and Espeon. There's a Glaceon, and I think there's a Leafeon, if I am remembering correct. There's a Shiny Mew. There's a Shiny Charmander. I don't know. There's full art trainers. So many nice cards. Uh, really, I, I won't complain with any of those. Sabrina's Suggestion, Charmeleon, we've gotten Charmander and Charmeleon, Chansey, Pikachu, I'll collect all Pikachus, Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, are we at the reverse? Oh yes, Shiny Vault, there we go, Lucario, Shiny Vault Rare, let's look at that. Oh, this is a fan favorite too. That is what I'm talking about, guys. These cards are awesome. That's why people get these packs. I love it. Let's look at, take a closer look at this, but first let's check out what the rare behind it is. It is a Mew. There's that Mew that we have in the reverse over there in the rare, but let's check out this Lucario, guys. Centering is really good on the front. Really good on the front. And on the back, it is also pretty good, but it looks like there is a tiny nick right there if you can see it there's a tiny nick on the top edge but other than that not a single flaw on this card so i think this should still be worthy of a nine it'll probably be going off to cgc that's what we came to see that's what we came to see shiny vault lucario guys awesome all right guys for the giveaway if you guys want this aegislash v in the giveaway comment down below keyword yellow keyword yellow one pack left guys that shiny Charizard GX. Let's get into it. I'm already happy with the 10 just because of that one shiny Vault Lucario. But with that being said, I do want a full art. So let's see if we can't get any full art card out of this 10. Or another shiny Vault. Either way, Fighting Energy. Chansey. Graveler. Farfetch'd. Cubone. Geodude. Slowpoke, Clefairy, I think this is the reverse, nope, Jigglypuff, this is the reverse, a Staryu, and the last rare of this 10 is another Brock's Training Hollow, it's kind of strange that they packed two into one 10, but hey, that's okay, I'm going to sleeve these up and we can look at our pulls. Before we get into the polls, guys, if you guys want this Zarud V from Vivid Voltage in the giveaway, comment down below, keyword grass, keyword grass. All right, guys? All right, let's look a quick, take a quick look at our polls from this tin. We got the Raichu GX in pretty rough shape, but nonetheless. We got two reverse rares. We got the Mew and the Snorlax. I mean, I'm not 100% sure on the reverses, but these are two of the better ones I could imagine. We got two identical Brock's Training Hollows, and then we got that Lucario Shiny Vault. I am pumped about this. This one's probably going to CGC, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Good luck to everybody in the giveaway, and thank you again. Until next time, guys.